glad that you have come to join me today. I am Cheryl Butterworth, a children's book author. I have two series at the moment, one called The Ice Dogs and the other The Oceana Stories. The Oceana Stories are about a little fairy called Oceana. The Ice Dogs are two standard poodles ice cream and iceberg who have many adventures in the north. I'd like to read a couple of pages of the ice dog save Christmas for you today. I'm going to read from the book now and I hope you and your children really enjoy it. And if you enjoy it that much, just click the button below and the book can be yours. Thanks. This is called, The Ice Dogs Save Christmas. The Arctic winters were always cold, but this was an exceptionally cold winter. It was always past rosy cheek cold. It was bitter, biting cold. A cold where you needed your pork parka done up to the top and a furry hat. Scarves for your face, and mittens that went up over your sleeves so the cold would not run up your arms, and kamiks for your feet. Kamiks are the furry boots the Inuit make for such cold places. The ice dogs, iceberg and ice cream, lived in Yellowknife in the Northwest Territories in Northern Canada, close to the North Pole. And of course, you know Santa lives there. In the barren north, there are few settlements, towns, and cities. So neighbors could be hundreds or thousands of miles away. In the case of the North Pole and Yellowknife, they were a thousand or more miles apart. But that does not hinder friendship. Sometimes distance only makes friendships closer and stronger. The ice dogs are standard poodles, very big poodles. Iceberg is pure white and a male. Ice cream is a creamy white, a bit smaller than iceberg and female. The ice dogs live next door to a church where in the roof lived a squirrel called Mr. Indigo Squirrel. Mr. Squirrel was given that name, or given the name Indigo at birth, as he was such a dark brown black. When the light shone on him, he was almost blue. The ice dog's people put sunflower and pumpkin seeds out every day in the winter for Mr. Indigo Squirrel. This was to su supplement his store of pine nuts he had gathered himself that he had stored in the church roof. Ice cream and iceberg would wait for Mr. Indigo Squirrel to come for his lunch and as he would nibble on the pine nuts and seeds, he would ask the ice dogs how their day was going and what they had been up to. And then he would tell them wonderful tales. With his age came so many experiences that gave him such wisdom. The older he became, the better the stories. It was coming close to Christmas. The whole Arctic had been hit with a particularly bad form of the flu bug, putting many, many people in bed for weeks and weeks. This flu drained the person's energy. They had fevers, headaches, sore throats, and runny noses. For these people, the runny noses came from tissues and not the cold weather, as was the normal in the Arctic. I hope you enjoyed those few pages that I read to you. Now, if you would like to read the rest of the story to your children tonight at bedtime, all you have to do is push the button below. We have it on Kindle and EPUB. Uh, and you can download it right away. If you want the, the physical book, then you go to my website. 
www.cherylbutterworth.com. I'm Cheryl Butterworth, and it's been a pleasure being with you today. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.